Let's go straight to the point. In this video, I will show you how to run an effective and efficient daily stand-up in the latest version of SAFE, the Scaled Agile Framework, SAFE 6. First off, the daily stand-up in SAFE 6 is not even called the daily stand-up. <laughs> it's been renamed to a Team Sync, which I really like. I really like Team Sync compared to the daily stand-up. Now, from the SAFE 6 guide, which you can find on their website, the Team Sync is a short meeting, usually 15 minutes or less typically held about daily to inspect progress towards the integration goal, communicate and adjust upcoming planned work. Very similar to the Scrum framework, if you've read the latest version of the Scrum Guide, the Scrum Guide 2020 talks about the daily Scrum, the fair version of a team sync and very similar goal, the priority of a daily Scrum, inspect progress towards the sprint goal, the priority of a team sync, inspect progress towards the iteration goal. Go. Three things mentioned in what I just read. Inspect progress towards the iteration goal. Communicate and adjust the upcoming planned work if required. That's the three outcomes expected from a good, efficient, effective team sync. It's really important that every team member attending this team sync really understand what we are trying to accomplish accomplish here. If you as a scrum master, oh, you've been renamed team coach. <laughs> if you as a team coach or any member of a team feel that the team sync could be more effective, answer these three questions. Are you doing these three things? Are you communicating, inspecting progress and reviewing the iteration backlog? Answer these three questions, starting with the first one, inspecting progress. That was the iteration goal. Remember, in the iteration planning, we the whole team, we agreed on one iteration goal or many iteration goals. That's the priority of the sprint. And each team sync that we do on a daily basis, our goal is to ensure that we are gradually progressing as a team towards achieving these iteration goals. The team sync is a daily planning. It's not a status meeting. It's not a progress meeting. No, it's a daily planning session so that we as a team can agree on how we will work together to progress towards achieving the iteration goals. That's the number one priority of a team sync. Next is adjusting upcoming planned work where and if required. Again, we are agile. <laughs> we should be flexible at any point during the iteration. If a requirement changes, if anything changes in the iteration backlog, we should be able to update it. Keep it up to date, but don't impact the iteration goal. We are working for the customer. We want to bring value. And it makes sense at any time if we feel that something can bring more value to the customer, we would do it. That's why the iteration backlog can change during the iteration. And we can talk about how we will plan these changes in the team sync. Again, it's a daily planning session. It's not an excuse to talk about these changes in the team sync. Deep dive in these changes. No, the expectation here is that all these changes, all these changes to the iteration backlog already went through a backlog refinement. The team already discussed these changes. The iteration backlog already changed. Again, these three elements, these three outcomes will guarantee that you have an effective and efficient team sync. If you have any doubt, always go back to these three outcomes. Are we indeed doing these three things? And most of the time, if your team sync is running more than 15 minutes, if you feel like you're wasting time in your team syncs, you're not answering these three questions. Next, from the safe six guide, the team can use any structure or technique for a team sync, creating an action plan for coordinating the next workday. Again, we just talked about that. You can use any techniques, any structure you want to do this daily planning, this team daily planning meeting or session. It's not a status report, a status meeting, a progress meeting. No, nothing to do with that. You answer these three questions, these three outcomes. You time box it to 15 minutes and every one each team member should ensure that the meeting is effective. We are meeting these three outcomes. We are doing the planning. We can use any techniques, any structure, as long as we are meeting these outcomes. Next, from the safe six guide. But the team sync is not the only time team members can make adjustments. The team collaborates and discusses adapting and replanning work whenever needed. Now, that's extremely important. I see that. People using the Scrum Framework, people using the Daily Standard, people using the Team Sync. I see that 
often deep diving into solutioning, not really doing planning. We are here to talk about new requirements, changes, impediments, deep diving, resolving all the issues in this meeting itself. Obviously, it will take more than 15 minutes. That was never the goal. The goal? Daily planning session. If you feel that your meeting, your team sync meeting is taking more than 15 minutes, most probably you are solutioning. You are doing way more than planning. And that might be a sign that the team doesn't talk enough during the day. Yeah, they only talk once during the day and it's in the team sync. <laughs> this is not acceptable. The whole team should be able to collaborate, communicate, talk together throughout the day. If another planning session needs to happen during the day, it can happen during the day. We don't need to wait for the next team sync. If we need to inspect progress towards achieving our iteration goals, we can do that at any point during the day. We don't need to wait for the next team sync. Same thing for changing the iteration backlog. We can do that at any point. We need to work together, collaborate throughout the day. Next, from the Safe 6 guide. High performing teams use the team sync to find opportunities to help each other so that the team succeeds in delivering its committed iteration goals. Remember the number one priority of the iteration, completing, achieving the iteration goals that we committed on, that we agreed on as a team in the iteration planning. Each team sync, we need to plan work, inspect progress and work together. It's a team effort. We shouldn't be working in isolations, in silos. We won't be able to achieve the iteration goal or reduce our chance of achieving the iteration goals greatly if we work in complete isolation. <laughs> we are not a single team. We are multiple people in the team working in isolation. No, shouldn't work like that. It's a team effort and we should be helping each other. If you completed your work instead of picking something new from the iteration backlog, why not ask people if they need help so that we can reduce work in progress and get more completed. Next, from the Save 6 guide, the Scrum Master, oh, team coach writes down topics that need further discussion on the meet after board. Only the involved parties stay during the meet after to discuss these topics in more detail. Again, we talked about that earlier. People rambling in the team sync, in the daily scrums, if you're using scrum, in the daily stand-up, solutioning, talking about impediments, new requirements, change. Now, it's a planning session. And if you focus on these three outcomes, remember inspecting progress towards the iteration goal, communication, and updating the iteration backlog if and when required. If you focus on these three things, the team sync will indeed be a daily planning session, not a session where people are giving status, progress report on their work, telling what I did yesterday and what will I do today. No one cares about that. What we care, what can we together do to progress towards achieving together the iteration goal. And everything that doesn't meet these three things we talk about later, after the team sync, and only people involved in this conversation will meet after to talk about these topics. A team coach should be, the team coach, important role, should be facilitating the session, ensuring that we are focused on these three outcomes and people are not dominating the conversation or going off track compared to the daily scrum if you're using the scrum framework, the scrum master, oh, team coach has an important role in the team sync. You know, the Scrum Master is not even invited in the daily Scrum. The daily Scrum is a meeting for the developers, by the developers, product owner, Scrum Master, optional. But in the team sync, the whole team is invited and the Scrum Master should be able to facilitate this session, which is really good. So what structure, techniques, to use. In the previous versions of SAFE, I believe SAFE 5, three questions were being used. What did I do yesterday to advance the iteration goals? What will I be able to complete today to advance the iteration goals? What's preventing us from completing the iteration goals? I don't see these three questions in the guide of SAFE 6, and it makes sense. We are using the same strategy as the latest version of a Scrum Guide, the Scrum Guide. 2020 removed again these three similar questions. What did I do yesterday? What will I do today? Any impediments, any blockers? We know these three questions. The Scrum Guide also did the same thing. Tried to become less prescriptive. And I see that Save 6 is following the same strategy, which is good, but there's nothing wrong with these three questions. People misuse the question, yeah? But these three questions, I believe, are good because it helps you talk about what's important 
ventilation goes. What did I do yesterday to advance towards ventilation goal? Anything blocking me? What will I do today? What will I get done today? Each one of the team members can talk about that and we can do the planning together. I like using these three questions. I like also walking the board. Basically, the facilitator displays, if it's a remote session, displays on the screen the storyboard, a Kanban board where we can see the work. Or if it's a physical session, we move to the board and we go through each one of the items in the board. People know what they are working on. For each item, we give an opportunity to the person working on this item or any other member of the team to tell us how they will move this item closer to the done column today or if they will work with another team member or if something is preventing them from progressing. Using this strategy, we move the focus from people, people telling you what they did yesterday, what will they do today, managing people to managing work. We don't really care what people do during the day. What we care about is how together we'll get things done and closer to achieving our iteration goals. You can watch this video for more details how to walk the board. If you want more tips, insights on Agile, Scrum, Personal Growth, click on the video that stands out the most on the screen right now. And I'll see you in a few seconds.